How to pray for a broken heart. Help, Lord. It happened again. Pretty bad this time. So this feels like the song in Ibiza. Another suitcase in another hall. Yet another heartache. Yesterday in the church service, I heard the Lord's voice. Firstly, softly in my spirit. Remember the dry bones metaphor in Ezekiel. Then the wonderful lady pastor ended her sermon with a story and the call to prophesy for the dry bones. This morning I was awoke at 4 a.m. starting with a list. On the base, the Lord has showed me how to prophesy many times before based on an alphabetical list. Here is the note I composed this morning. So A. A is, I love this quote about men, men being attracted. When men are around women they are attracted to, they find it easier to run, take more risks, donate more money and talk more. So I declare to the dry bones of broken hearts that God will restore all our broken hearts, all the broken relationship for the reason of this quote, that men can live out their purpose, that they can let God's kingdom manifest here on earth, that God will restore their manhood through healed relationships. Secondly, I declare that God will infuse me with an abundance of idea on what to prophesy on. Like this picture, this is how I see God will inspire me with an abundance of practical ways to prophesy. He will let me see all the balloons that will inspire me on a myriad of ways. On the topic of abundance, I declare a universal spirit of abundance of blessings. May we have an abundance of holy, sacred, kabot moments together. May we have an abundance of intimacy and healing. All this good, may it be abundant. I declare that God will release His spirit of agape love on all the relationships here in South Africa. Agape love is the divine kind of love, the superhero kind of love that can increase the worth of an object or a person. The agape kind of love creates healing. I love this quote from the secret history of will. God imagined three creative beings capable of loving so intelligently and thinking so lovingly that they can transform themselves and others of their kind in their innermost being. I love this quote. We were made by love, we were made for love, and we were made with love. Ambulance. God promises that He is close to the brokenhearted. May He send ambulances filled with angels and love to comfort us. Authors. We are the authors of our lives. Please do not. We do not want to be the victims or just stand by actors anymore. We want to be the authors. Please, your Lord, use these declarations as a manifesto to the authors in our lives. B. I want to pray against any betrayal that has happened in a relationship. The Webster definition of betray is to be gravely disloyal to. May God release the spirit of loyalty in relationships, where it is unconditional love being distributed, where the significant other's needs are placed ahead of our own. May God give us a new spirit that will restore the trust that was broken. I see a boulevard of broken dreams and hearts, like the song. May God please restore us, set our feet on a new journey, a boulevard of restored and healed hearts. I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known Don't know where it goes, but it's home to me and I walk along I walk this empty street on the boulevard of broken dreams Where the city sleeps and I'm the Another Elysi and beautiful song is broken together from casting crowns. So often I perceive that people think they should be perfect and whole when entering a relationship. 
even though I still believe it is a good principle, in theory it's supposed to be that way. But we live in the real life. Hearts have been broken. Let us be broken together. Maybe we can mend each other's wounds from past relationships. May God infuse this song in order for us not to run away from a perfect relationship. Let us place the plasters on each other's wounds instead of trying to do it on our own. Only God can change our mind. Wow. Isaac and Rebecca understood this principle. Isaac received his finding healing when he met Rebecca. May we each give each other this kind of healing. Give us comforting like the way you sent Noah to comfort everyone around him. In Genesis 5 verse 29, give us this comfort. Let us distribute this comfort to everyone around us. Just like this photograph of the lovely buffet table, I declare that God will daily dish up a buffet table full of healing and restoration for all the broken relationships out there. It will be pleasant. God will daily provide a, holy, a buff, buffet of holy sacred moments for us. A buffet of lovely, let me smile, romantic love moments as we do serve the romantic God. John illustrated it numerously. To see, look at what, what love gave, God gave us. The tangible romantic moment. Take a photograph kind of romantic moments. God will give us the Boaz kind of love. Boaz said to Ruth, that the love gets better and better daily, like a good old red wine. It gets better with time. God will give us this kind of love for each other that will daily just get better. Ruth 3 verse 10 You have made your last kindness better than the first, or the new international version. This kindness is greater than what you showed earlier. Just like the picture of the bath with the flower petals in, God will cleanse all the toxicity out of the relationships, but He will also make the journey pleasant, beautiful. We serve a God that loves to make things beautiful, so even this cleansing and purifying, He will make it beautiful. I love this quote so much from Rob Bowell in Sex God, page 22. And God is for purpose and beauty and meaning. I love this Instagram post tremendously from Elizabeth Gilbert. I want God to play in my bloodstream the way sunlight amuses itself on the water. I usually pray when I enter a relationship, please give us one spirit, one mind, but this is next level. Instead of just one spirit, I now pray for this, for God to play in my bloodstream just like the sunlight on the water and to do the same for my significant other. So then we will have one spirit, one modus operandi. Pray so big and so often when God meets you at the heaven's gate, he says with a smile, Kit, you kept me very busy. This is really my vision for my life, that one day when I enter into the pearly gate, that God says, wow, you kept me busy. Is this to you, motto in life, to also keep God busy? May we have more warriors like this, that it is our focus just to keep God busy. I will end off this video with Broken Together. The next video will follow shortly.